Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jack or Jack the Bus and this is the Dead by Daylight Trapper Guide. I'm uh, making this guide for all those people that I watch that uh, severely tilt me from the way they play Trapper, so I'm just gonna give a helping hand to everyone out there. So let's go ahead and enter this 90 minute queue and get started. Okay, so first let's go into perks. Uh, my typical perks I use is Distressing 3, Unnerving Presence 3, Brutal Strength, and Iron Grasp. I would love to get Iron Grasp 3 and Brutal Strength 3. Unfortunately, the Blood Web hates every part of my existence, so that's not a thing. Distressing and un Unnerving go together really well as Distressing, you know, it just expands your terror radius beyond measure. And uh, that'll just make um, Unnerving have an even more of an impact. Another combination could be Brutal Strength, Iron Grasp. Noed 3, I don't have Noed 3 because once again the blood web hates my existence. And Spies from the Shadows, that's another great combination. And then if you're looking to not uh, hang people as often, I would go Brutal Strength, Deer Stalker, Un Distressing, and Unnerving. That's one of my favorite combinations as well. Alright, so unironically 30 minutes later we found our first group of survivors and... <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, we found our first target. Alright, so Wretched Shop, uh, it's a pretty good map for Trapper. Windows will be your best friend in Trapper game. Also, pallets will really give you a boost. So, I'm gonna start off and just throw my first trap down right here. It's good to get a few down before you start even chasing survivors, as it'll, um, provide an opportunity for you to catch them even later on without your knowing. You'd be surprised how many people you, uh, trap without remembering, put even putting down a trap there. So we've got our first our first little mistake here. Bus is also a really good place to put traps down. Okay, I don't know what's happening here. Okay, so see what I did there? I to Oh, we found our Meg. So standing still will really help. Um, as they will move without you moving. And uh, you'll be able to notice them a lot better. Lunging around corners. Now that's, that's, that's step one, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna scratch marks. See, she's leaving them all along the trees. Easy way to not lose them. This is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. The bus is, and she expected me to go through because I went through the other one, but there'll be no bueno here. And we've got, we've got our sabo Meg. Whoop! All right, you stay there, okay? I'm gonna go find a trap for you. And it looks like there's no traps on this map anywhere. Let's go, uh, let's go on a hunt for one. Let's see, I see one over here. Oh, and a wild fight appeared. So you gotta find those opportunities to really cut them off and predict their movements. We're gonna lunge right here. Always lunge. If you just do this, you won't make it near as far. Oh, we found a Claudette too. And people are just handing it to me. All right, we can make this with a lunge. Okay, so you gotta swipe and make sure you uh, don't get juked by their bad moves. We're gonna go pick up our Dwight. Someone will probably go get uh, that Meg off the hook. Oh, there's our Dwight. There you are, buddy. I'm surprised that Meg hasn't been unhooked yet. We're gonna try and get Dwight to this basement. Basement's super helpful for me. Gives you a lot of time to go get them if they get unhooked. And whoop. Perfect. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and trap this boy. Trapper houses are perfect. Perfect for Trapper, aka the name. You can set traps all outside the windows when someone's hung in the basement. And uh, you're, you're set, you're set, my friend. Alright, so when trapping in the basement, you really don't have to check above you whenever uh, you're trapping below someone that's hooked. Also, survivors will sometimes stand here and jump down as you're walking up, so make sure you watch out for that. Um, trapping outside, whenever you're uh, trapping a hooked survivor, uh, I may get an opportunity to show you what I'm talking about, but always 
always let go early to make sure you're not getting you're not getting bamboozled as you're trying to hook your victim. Let's go get this trap. Always want to be carrying a trap in hand, no matter what. It's a really good uh, life life tip. All right, we're gonna go back because someone's definitely down there. Once they get to that uh, three fourths, almost. Oh, okay, so there's a trap there. Gonna pull you right up that hook. That is how I avoided that trap. Don't step in your own traps when you've got someone. <laughs> Very bad mistake. We're gonna go ahead and just hook him right here. Because we know he's gonna die instantly. Um, whenever they get to that one fourth of life left range, uh, you know someone's gonna pull him off. Especially when you're far away, so you can go ahead and head back. Traps in really random spots like this are really helpful too. Surprisingly. Alright, so they got two gens done. Should have trapped in that bus. We're gonna grab this one that they saboed. Or un untrapped. We're I don't really need to trap this bus now though, since there's no generator on this side. We're gonna go ahead and check this building though. There's someone in here. Alright, so I didn't lunge because I knew I'd miss that right when I use it. Um, I didn't lunge because it would have been an even bigger penalty if I had missed that. Well, make sure you watch the tracks. Make sure you had gone this way. I avoided that pallet because I knew she would throw it down if I went that way. That's good. Brutal strength, you can really push your pallets though. So don't be afraid to. A lot of mistakes I see is people going around with Brutal Strength 3 when they have perfect opportunities to... I made a pretty big mistake there. So she'll probably be dead now. Um, uh, so she's gonna go left around me, probably. Yeah, there she goes. It's really easy to predict. Mo oh, okay, so there's her sprint burst. It's easy to predict their movements if you've been chasing them for a while. Yeah, she's gonna go down if we uh, lunge. Perfect. If there is a basement near, that's going to be your go-to, but it looks like it's, there isn't one too close. So we're going to go ahead and here. here. Uh, this is going to be the example I show you. So whenever you hang them, double double check, look around, start to set your trap, and let go. Nine times out of ten, there will be someone there trying to unhook them as you're setting that trap, so make sure you watch out for that. I'm going to destroy this pallet. You don't want to camp, it's kind of a scummy thing to do. We're going to go check this gin. Also not even beneficial for you, as survivors can get two plus gins done while camping. So there's no one even on this side. Oh, so both gins are over there. We got one over there. I imagine someone's on this gin. No, nope, no one. There goes the trap. There goes it. I'm gonna watch this distance. I always watch the skyline, it's really easy to see survivors. I don't see any scratch marks. Going this way. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this trap. Right here. She was being healed. Looks like she wasn't. There's another gen. Gonna try and hook her ASAP. Alright, let's go throw her back on this one. I think she'll be into the I'm not really sure. Yep, there she goes. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and just hook or trap this random bush right here because this is one of the gens that. Uh, needs to be completed for them to finish. I don't even know if they have any. Have any more? Okay, so it's just, just these three. This one. This one's really close. 
three horses all the way down. Confirming traps. Traps will be your best friend in this game. Still one down in the basement, but I don't want to waste the time to go get it for them. Because in that time, they could easily finish the gen. We're going to search around this one a little more, since it's so close to being done. There's scratch marks. Going which way? Do not know. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to go back to that gen since um, these aren't too far, too far in. I know that they're going to try to make that a priority since it's so close. Alright, so this little knob on the end hasn't moved anymore, so that means they haven't worked on it anymore. So I'm guessing they're going to try and sneak this one in the house. Oh, here's hatch. Let's check this progress. Two. If you can find the hatch early on, it's super good. Go back to this one. See if there's any progress. No progress. There's scratch marks, though. So. There she is. There's Sabo Meg. Wasting all these pallets. What do you think you're doing? Alright, I'm just gonna keep cutting her off. Makes it super easy on me. They'll sometimes try and juke around you, but it shouldn't be too hard if you lunge the right way. Always gotta look out for those scratch marks, though. Meg will have a sprint burst, so you have to anticipate having to chase a little longer. Oh, man. Oh, got her. And I think she'll be an Issa dead. It's always nice to get those grabs off of, uh, off of uh, lunges and stuff. I'm gonna hook her. I heard someone working on a gen. Okay, so they may know where the hatch is, so we're gonna sprint over to that real quick. If you can get there. I'm not sure. Ha! <laughs> I just got a. I got bamboozled. So, guys, that'll be my trapper guide. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, be sure to leave a like, comment. Uh, make. Uh, I really want to hear y'all y'all's feedback on these Dead by Daylight videos and any other videos you want to see. Um, and everyone have a good day.